In this episode, we talk about PRP, but specifically its role in female pattern hair loss. Welcome to The Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to The Hair Loss Show. Uh, my name is Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash. Uh, welcome to episode number 78. Uh, and we're going to delve straight into PRP, or platelet-rich plasma. Uh, as as a, use, a therapeutic use in um, women that are suffering from female pattern hair loss. So we've talked about PRP in the past, and PRP is basically where you take blood uh, from uh, the patient, you spin it down, and you collect um, the platelet-rich component, which is effectively the part of the blood that is rich in growth factors. People incorrectly state that this is stem cell therapy. It's not stem cell therapy, but it actually can be used to uh, stimulate the hair, so provide stimulation if you collect that platelet-rich component and inject it back into the scalp. So when we look at uh, female pattern hair loss, there are a, a lot of potential causes uh, of why that occurs in women. There's a genetic aspect, there's the issue with the testosterone receptor or the estrogen uh, receptor as well, and, it, and it's not, um, it can't predict what the reason is uh, in, in individual females. It could be a combination and w how much one aspect impacts the overall uh, loss of hair is, is different for each individual. But we know that any sort of hair loss uh, in female is significant and we need to look at therapies to try and minimize that and stabilize that. And we've gone through medical therapies uh, in a previous um, episode, but I specifically wanted to tackle PRP in female pattern hair loss. Well, female pattern hair loss, unlike male pattern hair loss, covers quite a large area. So it can affect uh, a larger part of the uh, scalp than in, say, in some individuals with male pattern hair loss. So you've got a larger area that you need to treat. But the use of uh, PRP can help provide stability, or, or certainly stimulation, I should say, uh, to the, to the hair follicles and it requires like I said some uh, blood draw spinning that down uh, and under local anesthetic injecting that back into the the scalp with regards to uh, you know how effective it is We've, the studies that have been done have shown that if you can try and catch it early enough it can be quite effective and there's some very good outcomes that have been uh, demonstrated but if in order for it to be effective it does need to be done regularly so in our clinic we generally recommend having a treatment once a month uh, for six months and then um, another one at, uh, six months after that uh, and then on a yearly basis uh, after that but uh, you don't have a treatment and then uh, see the effect next week there is just because of the nature of the hair cycle of the hair there is a, a relatively long tail but you do need to have regular treatments to keep that stimulation uh, going um, I do I have heard of some clinics just uh, doing PRP without any local anesthetic. I th I'm not sure how that's done. That seems quite a painful experience. So, for example, in our clinic, we do that under um, a local anesthetic cover, under a ring block to the scalp. I think it's a lot more comfortable for uh, for the patient uh, in our in our clinics than in a theatre environment. But uh, Generally, it can be uh, useful as a adjunct therapy along with medical and other non-medical uh, therapies that help stimulate the hair uh, if you're suffering from uh, female pattern hair loss. So hope that's useful. Thanks again very much for watching and we'll see you on the next episode. Take care.